respected <coughs> chiefs of navies, heads of other delegations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. I hope you all had a good sleep last night and regenerated yourself to participate in another enlightening session today. Let me take the opportunity to welcome all of you to the third session of this seminar. I am delighted to be the moderator of this session and will be accompanied by three eminent panelists, Professor Jean Politikoff, Dr. Rupert Herbert Burns, and Professor Mary George. Ladies and gentlemen, previous two sessions of the seminar have given us a thorough insight on the importance of the Indian Ocean and maritime trade. In this session, we will deal with some important challenges that confront us today and will continue to do so in the coming days. First challenge that will be discussed today is climate change and associated risk for seaports. We are well aware that climate change is real and so is its impact. It poses risks of inundation from sea level rise and storm surge, leading to flooding and damage from cyclones and wind storms. For me, as a Bangladeshi, this is one issue that certainly worries us deeply because Bangladesh ranks the first as the nation most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change in the coming decades. The total gamut of climate change is extremely complex and intertwined. No doubt, seaports are vulnerable, therefore proper infrastructures need to be in place. There comes the question of funding and derived complications because no single agency or individual has sole authority over any given port. The arrangement greatly complicates port's efforts. I am sure that the river speaker in, his, in her discourse will give us an account of the potential impacts of the climate change on seaports and how this can be managed through adaptation planning and implementation. Our first speaker is Professor Jean Politikov to speak on climate change and risks for seaports. She is the director of the National Climate Change Adaptation Research Facility at Griffith University, Australia. She took up the role in October 2008, having previously managed the production of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, that is IPCC, fourth assessment report for Working Group 2, while based at the United Kingdom Met Office. Prior to joining the Met Office, she was a professor in the School of Environmental Sciences and director of the Climate Research Unit at the University of East Anglia and a lecturer at the Department of Geography in the University of Nairobi. Her research interests focus on climate change impacts and the application of climate data to economic and planning issues. She was a lead author for Working Group 2 of the IPCC second and third assessment reports. She has authored more than 200 papers, articles, and reports on the topic of climate change and climate variability. May I now invite Professor Politikov to take over the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Politikov. <laughs> 